My favorite game in the franchise has kind of shifted over the years, but right now and for the past a few years, I would say Sly 3 is my favorite game. And let me explain. First off, the pacing. The pacing in Sly 3 is probably the best in the entire series because I feel like between missions and every chapter, it has a very good flow. It doesn't make you feel bored or doesn't force you to make these missions that just goes on forever and that's something that I really focus on a lot when I play a video game because I don't want to spend more time than I have to or I really don't like when the writers forces you to do something very slow and then the other thing that I like about Sly 3 is Dr. M I know this is a controversial thing to say but in my opinion Dr. M is the number one best written villain in the series, okay? I know you're probably thinking Clockwork, but here's the thing. If you really think about Clockwork as a character about his backstory, we don't really know much about him. And you can't just leave a character and make the fans make theory videos. I mean, you have to have a backstory somewhere that you can show us or tell us somewhere down the line in a sequel or a prequel but we don't know nothing about clockwork in the backstory so that's why dr m is my favorite villain of all time and he's a very good written character especially his connection with connor sly cooper's father um, and then the third thing that i want to bring up is that there's a lot of different types of missions and almost every mission feels unique if you look at slide 2 and slide 1 a lot of the missions felt very similar and i know that you are a thief but i mean they can experiment and make a few changes here and there and that's what they made with slide 3 because almost every mission had something new when it comes to gameplay and i really like that and then something that i really enjoy when i play video games is the soundtrack if the soundtrack is good, that will give a huge plus in my book because the soundtrack is way more important than you think. I'm gonna challenge you. Can you name one good game but it has a terrible soundtrack? Please write down in the comments if you can. <laughs> but the soundtrack in this game is amazing. If I had to tell you my favorite soundtrack from this game, it has to be the Venice theme. You know, I love the music. Uh, when you're in Italy, you know, I love that soundtrack. I listen to it a lot. And then my fourth thing is that Sly 3 has a lot of interesting locations. You know, like every location feels unique. It feels like they put a lot of time to it. And I feel like in Sly 2, there were some chapters where I felt like, oh, maybe not so great. But in this game, it's all amazing. And then my final point that is kind of like has nothing to do with slide 3 is also about is actually about slide 2. When I was younger, slide 2 was my favorite game. But when I became older, I started to notice a lot of bad things or I wouldn't say bad things but less good things about slide 2. So nowadays, if I decide to play a game in slide 3, I'm not saying slide 2 is a bad game. I'm just saying that the game is very long. They missions are very repetitive and that's why i like slide 3 a lot more and that was pretty much it that i wanted to say have a great day and i'll see you next time bye about our favorite sly cooper games and for me that is definitely sly 3 and i made it very apparent on this channel multiple times i made a couple videos about it was even thinking about doing it another time although we have this video to kind of you know express that again but sly 3 is definitely my favorite which is kind of weird that only recently happened within like say the past two years for a long time slide 2 was my favorite and that's the popular choice it makes sense why slide 2 was my favorite you know it was the first one I ever played it was the one i was most nostalgic for but the more i played slide 3 and i really started playing it about two years ago because i realized i hadn't actually completely beaten it up until then 
that Sly 3 just has a lot more to offer, and the worlds themselves are a lot more fun and different from each other. I know I don't have a ton of time in this video, so I'll probably make an updated video really going in depth, but visually, the game looks nicer. It's much brighter and cartoony, and I really like that. There might be less episodes, but there's more to do in them, even without the clue bottles, because you have the Master Thief challenges, which kept me invested in the game for a very long time. Plus, there's replayable missions, so I can go back and have a fun time and play whatever mission I want. And plus those Master Thief challenges, some of them were timed, which makes it much more fun to play because you can try and beat your own time and people even like hold world records for that kind of stuff. And this story just had me a lot more invested than any other Sly Cooper game. And Dr. M has to be, to date, my favorite Sly Cooper villain, even beating out Clockwork and, of course, La Paradox and Neela. But really, I have never really enjoyed Clockwork too much. Maybe I should get into that into a different video because uh, that's a pretty big statement for a lot of people. But yeah, Dr. M really felt like the first fully fledged out Sly Cooper villain, or let's let's say overarching villain, because we have a lot of smaller villains that I do enjoy as well, like Octavio, like General Sao, and Dimitri. The flashback aspect, which is something that a lot of people have a problem with, I actually enjoyed, you know, playing that first mission, seeing those silhouettes, not knowing who the other gang members are, kept me on the edge of my seat and wanting to know who these characters are, and as we met them throughout the story, I'm like, oh, okay, so that's this person from the first mission. And like I said, there's replayable missions, so I could go back, and you know, when the first time I played it, I heard Penelope's voice, I didn't know who she was, but once she joined the gang and got, went back and was like, wait, this is Penelope, isn't it? I found that kind of fun as well. There's a million other things, and I'm actually going to get into that more in this video, but I'm actually gonna hand it over to Conservative Leon. Hey, I would like to thank Basib for giving me a chance to be a part of this video. We're probably gonna make more collabs in the future, so stay tuned for that. Uh, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye. My perfection is my own.